Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you for returning. I really appreciate it. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about what goes in the hospital bag for mommy and baby. And I'll be, I will be packing two separate bags, of course, one for me, one for baby. And if you see me looking down, it's because, of course, I'm looking at my notes. As always, I will be packing the bag as I go so I can show you all the essentials that I have. Some stuff I'll be putting in my bag right now and some stuff I won't just due to the fact that I still need it. But as of today, right now, it is July 5th and my induction date is set for July 7th at 8 a.m. So I am definitely kind of running late on packing this bag so i just want to really get it out the way i've been in some pain and stuff and i just want to make sure that i am prepared when it is time so i'm going to be starting with my bag first because of course of course me being mommy i am going to need more essentials than baby does so i do have this little backpack for me i got it from my mom it's hers but it's mine now. <laughs> um, so, yeah. The first thing I feel like is important. What we're going to be starting with. Excuse me for turning around. I got everything sitting on the side of me. But first thing I feel like is important that we're going to need is your wallet with your ID and your insurance card, of course. And also, like, some type of cash or debit or credit card because... Of course, since it's COVID going on, I don't know how the cafeteria is set up. I don't know how often they feed you. So if you are not bringing snacks to the hospital on your own in your bag, then you may need your cash or debit or credit, of course, to be able to purchase from the vending machines or whatever. And like I say, your ID and insurance card as well for identification purposes and your insurance card because everything costs in life, including having a baby. So that is gonna be going into the mommy's bag. The next thing that we are going to be packing, which I feel is essential, I never brought them before, but I feel like it is important because I've always, for some reason, put tennis shoes on when I went to the hospital. And then you have to walk, when you need to walk around, you have to put your tennis shoes on. So essential to me is going to be house shoes or some type of slippers or something that you can walk around in that's comfortable. You can just slip them on your feet. You don't have to, you know, untie shoes, tie them up, do all that stuff just on and off. I might go to the hospital in those slippers just so I don't have to worry about extra things being in my bag when it's time for me to go or keeping up with my tennis shoes. Um, number three on the list is going to be toiletries. And as far as toiletries, what is important, toothbrush, toothpaste, my deodorant, of course. And I don't have it over here right now with me, but um, like whatever soap that you use, of course, they're going to give you like little small bars of soap, but my skin is sensitive. It reacts bad to different types of soaps. I don't like to use too many different things, so... I will be packing my own bar of Dove soap or Ivory, whichever. I use both. Those are really like the only two soaps that my skin doesn't have a bad reaction to. Excuse me, I'm out of breath. I am 39 weeks. Y'all excuse me. The next thing that I'm going to be putting in my bag is a nursing bra, of course. And this bra... It's just some, or you can use a sports bra. It doesn't have to be a nursing bra, but this is a one, a little nursing bra that came in a pack for me. And it's easily, it's easy to just pop it down, pop it back up. I did get this from um, Burlington, I believe. It came in a pack of like two or three, but it's very affordable. It's needed. Um, I'm putting one in the bag now, but most likely I'll put another in tomorrow, of course, just to go through my bag and make sure again that I have everything that I need. 
I know that usually we stay in the hospital. This is baby number four for me, of course. So I know usually we stay in the hospital maybe two days at the most. So I will be bringing a second bra just to be on the safe side or whatever. Okay, so after you pack your nursing bra or sports bra, if you are breastfeeding, you will need nursing pads. Now, you don't have to. I'm missing one. It's over here somewhere. I'll figure it out. But um, you really don't have to pack these if you don't want. Because, and the reason I say that is because every time I've went to the hospital, they've always provided them for me if I needed them. But I am going to take a few just in case. Because, like I said, it is COVID going on right now. I don't know what they are doing different what they are giving out, what they are not giving out. So just to be on the safe side, I will be packing my own few little nursing pads because I am breastfeeding mom. I breastfed all four of my kids. Well, I breastfed the past three previous previous kids and I will be breastfeeding my daughter as well. Track. Another thing you are going to need is a comfortable outfit or pajamas now a lot of women usually pack like leggings and stuff and usually i pack like leggings and a t-shirt or something but um this pregnancy has really been rough for me um i've had a lot of what is it called round ligament pain which is basically um joints and muscle pains and everything and um in the in the uterus or whatever so i don't really want anything like holding me tightly or anything that matters so this time i do have a little sundress or whatever something comfortable i will be taking this to come home and that is my going home outfit i just want something comfortable loose and to just flow so i'll be coming home in that my nursing bra and of course my slippers because i will be going straight from the hospital to home so just be comfortable don't you don't have to be cute you don't have to be a hot mama or anything of that matter <clears throat> just be comfortable that's all that matters so the next thing i'm going to be packing but i do my braids are still kind of fresh for my baby shower or whatever so i will be packing my bonnet and my scarf because i put my scarf on at night or whatever around my edges and then i put my bonnet on top because i just want to keep everything out of my way and i usually like bring a scarf or whatever and sometimes my hair will still get in the way of me but i have my hair like really long like down to my waist or whatever so even when i have my scarf on i have issues with my hair like coming forward or flying forward now today i do have a little scrunch on this is my first time I put my braids up in the scrunch since i got them done or whatever but um i'm definitely going to be bringing this because with me nursing baby i don't want hair getting in baby's face or getting in my way or disturbing me from being comfortable in the time frame that I will be in the hospital and then also <clears throat> because I'm going to be taking showers of course I don't have it here with me I don't know why I forgot it but a shower cap as well to keep my hair dry because I just don't want wet hair I don't want my hair in my way at all so make sure you pack your shower cap the eighth thing on the list is going to be a mask. Now, I'm pretty sure all hospitals have masks right now. Like I said, it's COVID out here, so it's essential to them. Um, now, some people aren't required to wear masks. Some people have been saying they're, they aren't required to wear masks during you know labor and delivery or whatever. But some people are saying that they have to wear masks. I was told that I have to wear a mask. So, knowing me, this mask may come off, but um, 
I'm going to take it anyway, just in case, just to be on the safe side for when I do need to have it on, when, when it's important for me to have it on. So let's go on in the bag as well. And don't have the last thing. And last but not least, I don't have it right here with me either. I left it in the other room. You are going to need your phone charger. Baby number two and three are the only kids that I remember to bring my phone charger. First baby, my first time, it was kind of like a rush to the hospital. I left my phone charger at home. Um, my partner, he left his phone charger at home. So we were like in the hospital with dead phones. Not a good thing at all. Oh, and then for me, I, that's not the last thing for me. I am going to be bringing my ring light because I do want to vlog some moments after the baby is born. So, um, if you are a YouTuber, of course, or if you are planning on recording, even if you're not a YouTuber, make sure that you have your camera charger or whatever as well. If you want to, if you have a ring light and you want to, you know, get some really good pictures, bring your ring light as well and everything you need to go with that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, oh, and yeah, I keep I know I keep saying last but not least, but <laughs> if you also if you want some good comfy socks as well. I am going to pack these in the bag. Most likely I won't wear them, but I'll still have them just in case. <clears throat> because the hospital does provide really comfortable socks. I love their socks. Every time I go to the hospital, I always get about two to three pairs of socks from them. And I just bring it with me, take it home with me. I even wear those socks when I'm not in the hospital at home. I keep those socks because they are really comfortable. So, yeah, that's what's going in mommy's bag, of course. And then I'm going to show you baby's bag which is really cute. I got this bag from my aunt. This is a baby shower gift for me. Um, the sunflower theme came from me. Uh, I was supposed to be, when I had my baby shower, I was supposed to be doing a sunflower theme at first. Sunflower slash bumblebee theme at first. But like the last week and a half to two weeks leading up to my baby shower i did change the theme very last minute to um what was my thing butterflies excuse me my theme was butterflies and flowers still i kept the flower theme whatever but my aunt um she had already sent my diaper bag in the mail early and she found this sunflower bum the sunflower diaper bag to go along with the theme which even though i did not do the sunflower theme it was completely fine but it does like have a handle right here snaps at the top you can carry it as a backpack it does have like a lot of um zipper bags or extra spaces so i haven't really opened up everything just as yet to like see where everything is for. I guess this is a, like a wipe holder for extra wipes on this side for bottles, I guess. And also, it's somewhere on here. I'm looking for it. Oh, here it is. Okay, so you know, I'm a 20, I'm a new, I'm a 2021 mom, even though I've been a mom before. But you know, everything be updated. So on my back, it's like, I don't know if you all can see this, but it's like a, a headphone port and a phone charger port like as well. So I don't know, if, I, I don't know how that works. I don't know if I have to charge it up. I don't know if it's made to charge my phone or to listen to music. I don't know, but I'm gonna figure it out. I gotta watch some videos on it. Anyway, let's get back to what goes in this bag. And then this is just the inside of the bag as well. It has a lot of storage holders, zipper spaces, and everything else on there as well in the inside. <coughs> but pretty much, you don't really pack that much for baby because the hospital, just like with mom, 
you don't they you don't have to pack much with mom because the hospital pretty much provides everything that you are going to need i've never like i said this is baby number four for me so i've never went to the hospital and didn't have what i need the only thing i believe that i went to the hospital without before was like extra bras and so i only had my going home bra and um i didn't have bras leading up to the day up until the day that i went home and i had like leakage like breast milk leakage on my gowns and everything so that was the only factor that i forgot you know to take and i just kept forgetting every single time um so yeah so the things i'm going to be putting inside of the baby's diaper bag is a little going home outfit now um this is her little outfit it's like a little i guess it's kind of like a little dress or something snap between the legs it is the summertime here so you know i was i'm so used to my babies being born in the fall and winter and i have to have pants on them jackets different stuff like that like you know coats and stuff like that but it is the summertime it's really hot here in georgia but the outfit it comes with like a little jacket you know just to keep her a little bit warm or whatever because it will probably be chilly in the car of course the hospitals are cold and but yeah the outfit it comes with this headband or whatever but of course with baby having a soft spot and everything we're not going to use that headband when she comes home she does still need a hat on so i do have a little hat to go with the outfit and we have the mittens to go with the to go with as well excuse me and um also <clears throat> you don't need all of these socks and these were the smallest size they had they might be a little big on her but i my mother and my mother-in-law are ruffle sock crazy for girls <clears throat> it's really girly girl so i do have these little ruffle socks to go with her outfit um I, I didn't feel like just taking one off the pack and just putting it in there so i'm just gonna of course throw the whole back inside of the doctor bag so let's do that now because i haven't put anything in here at all um the next thing that i'm going to be putting in the diaper bag is these little silicone pacifiers that i got from the store not again something not necessary to bring if you don't want it's not mandatory because the hospital does provide the same exact pacifiers so i might not end up having to open that pack up because like i said they provide them too <clears throat> i've always i've never came home with my baby without a pacifier like this that the hospital provided i highly suggest the silicone let me show y'all again so y'all can see but um i highly suggest these pacifiers over all the other ones like um the other pacifiers like air still gets in the baby mouth it gets some gassy you know different issues like that and i don't want those problems so these are my favorite those are always my go-to pacifier the thing that you will need if it's not the summertime well even if it is the summertime you will need a blanket for the baby now if it's the winter of course you're going to need probably a re all these kids i got and i forgot what it's called the receiving blanket you're gonna if it's the winter time or the fall whatever whatever most likely you're gonna need a receiving blanket and one of the thick blankets to keep baby warm because of course babies temperature is not the same as ours they might they they are not able to handle the weather we are able to deal with so make sure you have that if it's the fall or winter 
and if it's like the spring or summer or whatever i feel like a receiving blanket is you know that's all baby would need don't take no super thick blanket to the hospital for your baby they get hot too okay i personally did not grab a receiving blanket to put in a diaper bag i don't feel like i would need it just due to the simple fact that baby will be covered i do have this um lightweight canopy cover thing that i am going to be putting in the baby bag to go to the hospital with me but it does go in the car seat so i feel like with it being so hot here 90 degrees like i said on the estimated date to come home this will be good enough to cover the baby up you know without burning the baby up making her hot or whatever so i am putting that in my diaper bag um another essential that you will need for baby if you are not breastfeeding you can take a bottle the special bottle of your choice whatever type of bottles or you know the brands that you are planning on using for the baby now of course the hospital does provide baby milk for those moms who will not be breastfeeding and those baby milks come with a bottle you know that the baby will drink out of so it's not mandatory again it's not mandatory if you take a bottle or not because you'll still have one regardless to feed your baby i mean it is the hospital they know moms are having babies they know sometimes we forget things we don't have everything we need when we go some moms like me wait to the very last minute which is for me two days before i'm supposed to be induced to pack bags or whatever but uh yeah and then last but not least this does not go in the diaper bag but it is the most important thing on the list out of the mom if out of anything in the mom's bag and baby's bag but like i said it doesn't go in the diaper bag your car seat you cannot leave the hospital without a car seat for your baby i did take the car seat out of the box but i did leave it in a plastic just so it doesn't get anything on it nothing can touch it no germs no nothing and then yeah i'm gonna be taking that to the hospital with me i'm just gonna have it in the room with me when i have the baby and that way i will already have it with me and then when baby goes home it comes with the little snap part at the bottom i'm not gonna take that up to the room because of course it makes the car seat a little bit heavier so I'll just leave that in the car, you know, buckled down. Well, it will get buckled down before I leave the hospital, but I'll just take the car seat part upstairs that I have to carry the baby in. So yeah, make sure you have your car seat when you go to the hospital because it is essential. You cannot leave the hospital without it. I do want to go ahead and add one last tip that some moms will possibly need or want to take in their hospital bags or whatever me personally i will not be taking them because i don't need them because of course this is something else that the hospital does provide as well but um underwear if you're a mom already you know exactly what type of underwear i'm talking about if i can find a picture on google i'll probably post it above right here but um yeah i like i said i'm not gonna take any underwear because those are super comfortable to me and they do provide padding as well pads as well to come to put on inside of the underwear and that pretty much wraps up this video i've went over everything a mom will need in her diaper bag not her diaper bag <laughs> I pretty much went over everything a mom will need in her hospital bag and everything the baby will need in their diaper bag as well. Um, you don't have to take any pampers or wipes or anything for baby. Hospital provides all that stuff as well. They pretty much have you covered with everything because there are plenty of moms running in and out the hospital daily having babies. So they have those things on standby for you and also 
when you go home, like whatever that they gave you, you can take it home with you as well. Like, you know, for example, they'll bring you a pack of Pampers in and you may use like, you know, five, maybe five to six Pampers out of there because also they're taking the baby in and out the room. So they're changing the baby as well. You might not even use that many out of the pack that they gave you. You, you are able to take that pack home and you know, that's just extra stuff. So, um, yeah, you pretty much don't have to overpack. Also, if you want, you can take multiple outfits for yourself. Me, personally, I'm only taking an outfit to go home in because I pretty much wear the hospital gowns that they provide. Those are comfortable to me. I don't like really wearing clothes anyway, so the gown is good enough. Um, keeps me pretty cozy. That's fine. You can take multiple outfits for the baby. Of course, baby's going to take pictures in the hospital as well. So if you want to take an outfit for the baby to take pictures in, you can. And you don't have to worry about having outfits for the baby to have on throughout the day. Um, it's up. I mean, like I said, everything is really up to you and what you want to do. My baby's going to be in the t-shirts and, you know, sleepers and onesies or whatever that the hospital provides that's good enough for me until I get home then I feel like once I get home I mean you're free to do whatever you want you can dress baby up do all those things I feel like why take it when I can save it for home well yeah like I said this pretty much wraps up this video that's all you will need in your bag and baby's bag as well if you feel like there is something that I may be missing for my bag which I'm pretty sure that there's not because like I said this is my fourth rodeo if you need help or if you want to ask me any questions about what you may need or could you bring other things other than stuff that I named then yeah I'm free to answer those questions if you like this video leave me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get post notifications so you can see when i post again and like i said i will be dropping more content soon i do have a lot of content to edit so i will see you guys in my next video bye